Today, we will show you 10 gamers who were caught cheating live and got completely exposed. Included is a girl who denies her cheating even though thousands were watching live, a pro gamer who ruined his entire career with one cheat, and many extremely embarrassing situations. So be sure to stay tuned here at Wonderlane. We start with number 10 and the gamer Johnny K who played in the official Fortnite World Cup and actually had the audacity to cheat, or rather, to try. Johnny K, whose real name is Jonathan Kosmala, was playing in the Fortnite World Cup in New York, where the total prize money at stake was an incredible $100 million. And after he was able to start normally, the gamer was suddenly kicked out of the game by Fortnite's automatic anti-cheat software. It quickly came out that this was not a mistake. Jonathan had bought cheats from a dealer and actually wanted to play Fortnite with these cheats activated in front of an audience at a tournament. The dealer who sold him the cheats published not only chat messages in which the gamer ordered them, but also excerpts from a phone call he had with Jonathan. By the way, Johnny K not only had to endure the embarrassment of being exposed as a cheater in front of the whole world and being kicked out of the tournament, he was also subsequently fired from his own esports team. Let's continue with number 9 and a similarly blatant case, which happened at another tournament. It's about CSGO and the pro gamer Nikhil Kumawat, who played under the name Forsaken at Clan Optic India. When he was participating in the Extremes Land Asia tournament with his team, the tournament was interrupted because the organizers suspected that the gamer was using a so-called aimbot, a program that helps you aim in the game and thus gives you an unfair advantage. When the referees wanted to examine Nikhil's PC in front of all the players and spectators, there were some embarrassing scenes. Nikhil felt caught and wanted to cover the traces of his cheating as quickly as possible by reaching out for his keyboard to delete the aimbot. However, he was stopped by a referee who pulled his arms away and the cheater had to watch helplessly as his cheating was uncovered. On number 8, there is a very prominent gamer who was caught cheating. To be more precise, we are talking about the rapper Snoop Dogg. When he was playing the Battle Royale game SOS Live on Twitch four years ago, his viewers quickly noticed that something was wrong. At first, Snoop Dogg seemed to be playing normally and interacting with the other players and the world of the game. But gradually, he kept wandering off and looking things up on his smartphone or even started smoking cigarettes he had rolled himself. Strangely enough, however, his character continued to walk normally during these phases and continued to react to game situations. This is how it became clear to the viewers that Snoop Dogg was not playing himself at all at the moment, but someone else was obviously controlling his character the whole time. At the end of the stream, after many viewers were upset about this kind of cheating, Snoop Dogg finally admitted that he hadn't played himself and added that the game looked funny, but was certainly even funnier when you played it yourself. Now we come to number seven and a gamer who not only cheated brazenly, but was also particularly clumsy in doing so. We're talking about the streamer Miss Q Gemini, who started a CSGO live stream in 2017 by getting upset about the fact that she was allegedly accused of cheating again and again. She even said that she was only accused of cheating because, as a woman, she would play so well. Shortly after the game started, however, all of her viewers were able to see something that the streamer must not have been aware of at the time. Strangely enough, her opponents were also displayed through the walls, making it easy for the streamer to always know where they were. This not only made the game much easier for her, but was also a clear sign that she had activated a so-called wall hack, a cheat that displays enemy positions even through solid objects like walls. Despite this cheat, Miss Q Gemini went on to lose the game. When she realized she was busted by looking at her chat, the streamer initially tried to excuse herself by saying that it was probably a bug in the game. Later, she claimed that a friend had been on the PC before and had set the cheat. As a consequence for this audacity, the streamer's account was finally banned. Moving on to number six, and a brazen cheat attempt that wasn't just from one individual or a team, but involved two top esports teams at once. But first things first, 
In the popular game League of Legends, there are always tournaments where high cash prizes await the winners. At the MLG Summer Championship 2012, 10 years ago, the team that won the final was to receive a hefty 40,000 US dollars. The opponents at the time were the top teams Curse NA and Team Dignitas. But what happened next astonished the spectators. The teams made strange decisions in this important match and didn't seem to play very ambitiously. Later it came out that they had agreed beforehand to share the prize money so they didn't care who won. Although the teams later apologized for their behavior, they were disqualified, and the organizer then distributed the prize money and points to the third and fourth place teams. In the case of the gamer at number five, one wonders whether he cheated particularly brazenly or actually just made a mistake by accident. The technical director of the online battle royale game H1Z1, Joshua Kriegshauser, seemed to demonstrate some really fierce skills during a stream of the game when he skillfully killed an entire group of enemies that were attacking him. It's only natural that a developer from a game company would be particularly good at a game that he helped launch. In Joshua's case, however, it wasn't because of his playing skills, but because he actually activated an invisibility cheat so the other players couldn't see him at all during the entire situation. After Joshua was pointed out by many angry gamers in the voice chat, he apologized and stated that it was just an accident. On number four is a kind of cheating that has nothing to do with bots or other tricks within the game. In an interview with an esports moderator, the gamer Corey Semphis Friesen admitted that he and his entire team Cloud9 resorted to an unfair trick during the ESL1 esports tournament to gain an advantage. They had taken a drug before the tournament, which actually helps ADHD patients to concentrate. By abusing this drug, the team naturally increased its concentration. Curiously, this particular type of cheating had no consequences for Corey and his teammates, because seven years ago, there were no controls on esports tournaments like in other sports. As a consequence of this unfair behavior, the esports federation also eventually introduced doping controls, so that now Nowadays, you can no longer cheat in this way so easily. But what is still very easy and legal is to subscribe to Wonderlane. So press the subscribe button now if you haven't already done so. Let's move on to number three and a player whose glasses were his undoing. Three years ago, when former Counter-Strike pro Christopher Anderson was streaming a CSGO game live on Twitch, everything was looking good for him. Christopher stood in ambush with a sniper rifle aimed at the corner of a building and waiting for an opponent to emerge from behind it. Christopher didn't aim at the corner on spec, but knew exactly that an opponent was hiding there. Because his viewers noticed this small but very decisive detail in the stream, the reflection of his glasses showed that Christopher had activated a wall hack and could therefore see his opponents through the wall. After a zoomed in clip of this situation was published online and the streamer was caught cheating without a doubt, Twitch deleted his account. Curiously, Christopher's gamer tag was Fakin' at the time. Let's continue with number two, and the professional Overwatch player, Sato, who was caught cheating in 2018. Sato didn't use any cheats, bots, or programs, but simply played really well. Now you're probably wondering what good gaming skills have to do with cheating. Well, Sato didn't play Overwatch with his own account, but collected money from other gamers to play with their accounts and give them a higher skill rating. Even though the pro gamer did not cheat himself, but only helped other players, he was banned from the game for a complete season as a punishment. Finally, we come to number one, and a player who didn't cheat to win, but actually lost on purpose to gain an advantage. In 2013, professional gamer Alexi Berezin also known as Solo, entered a tournament where his team was considered the favorite. Alexi then deliberately played badly and dragged his teammates down with him. The gamer had previously bet money against his own team and hoped to win more than $320 for a stake of $100. After he was caught trying to cheat, he was not paid the money and also received a ban. Check out our other cool videos as well. See you next time, here at Wonderlane.